Welcome aboard! Just go straight and to your right. Have a nice flight. Do you want to be a flight attendant? Then this lesson is for you. I'm going to teach you some customer service conversation and vocabulary uh, that will help you if you want to work as a flight attendant. Okay, the first thing you should say when someone gets on the plane is, Hi, welcome aboard. Okay, that's the best thing to say. Now, during the flight, uh, you're going to be talking quite a bit with people, right? I mean, you're going to be serving them drinks, you're going to be telling them what to do. So, there's two general styles of speech. Okay, there's one that's giving orders, and another one is making requests. Now, it's your choice which kind of speech you want to have. Uh, but the English we use is just a little bit different in each one. Now, I've noticed that when I fly, in my experience, uh, very often flight attendants give orders. Now, what is the difference between these? Well, an order is like this. Sir, please sit down. Okay, you're telling them what to do. Sir, please sit down. Okay, this one, a request, you're asking them. Sir, could you please sit down? Okay, so which one do you think is better? Well, they're both, they're both fine. Uh, in this one, make sure you say please. Because if you don't use the word please, it's going to sound very direct and very rude. Sir, sit down. I mean, that's, 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 very, uh, that's very rude. Okay, so you always need to use please. Um, this one is a little bit more polite, but in my experience, I've heard a lot of flight attendants give orders. And the reason they give orders is because the airline has certain policies that need to be followed and there are no options. Okay, if you're making a request, it almost seems a little bit optional. Okay, so you don't want to, it to be optional. But, you know, I've, I think both are okay. If you ask nicely, maybe the first time you should ask nicely, Sir, could you please sit down? If they don't, then you need to get a little bit more direct and more aggressive than you say, Sir, please sit down. Uh, we are about to take off. Okay, so, I mean, which situations would you need to use this kind of language in? Well, let's say uh, a person is listening to their headphones uh, just before takeoff, or they're using their laptop. Okay, the company policy says when the plane is taking off, people can't wear headphones and they can't be using their laptop. Okay, then you should say, Sir, please remove your headphones we're about to land, or we're about to take off. About to means almost. We're almost going to take off. Okay, please remove your headphones. Or you could say, sir, please put away your laptop for takeoff. Please put away your laptop for takeoff. Okay, those would be examples of some orders. Now, uh, you know, that you might need to do that. In some situations, you might need to be very firm with people and tell them what to do. But the, the fun part of the job is that you get to serve people. Okay, and that's fun. You get to talk with them. You get to, you know, to give them food and drinks. I think that would be pretty fun. Okay, so you can ask them nice questions like, Sir, could I take your coat? Could I take your jacket? Okay, that would probably be in first class. If you're flying in economy class, nobody's going to take your jacket. Okay, sir, could I take your coat? Uh, or you could say, sir, would you like chicken or fish? What would you like to eat? Or what would you like to drink? And if they say, I would like coffee, please, then you can say, would you like anything in your coffee? And they might say, yeah, I'll take uh, cream and sugar, please. Thanks. Okay, now another thing you might need to do uh, if you work as a flight attendant is you might need to make in-flight announcements over the intercom. Okay, the intercom is the, the plane's communication system. That's how they communicate with the passengers over the intercom. 
Okay, so I'm going to give you just a few examples of what kinds of things you might say if you're a flight attendant. Okay, uh, so you might say, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Air Canada Flight AC42 en route to Delhi. En route means going to Delhi or headed for Delhi, destined for Delhi. Okay, that would probably be something you say before the flight, bef before the, the plane takes off, right? And you might say this, you might say, my name is Mark, I'm your chief flight attendant today. On behalf of Captain Baker and the whole crew, I want to welcome you aboard. That would be nice. Our flying time today will be just over 13 hours and we will arrive at approximately 8.25 p.m. local time in Delhi. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 39,000 feet. Cruising means flying, like if you're flying at a, a steady pace. Okay, on some cars, they have cruise control. So if you're driving on a highway and you want to rest your feet, take your feet off the, the gas pedal, uh, then you can just press the cruise control button and the car will keep the same speed. That's called cruising. So a cruising altitude of 39,000 feet. Okay, uh, during the flight, we will be offering a meal service shortly after takeoff and another light meal before arrival. At this time, make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position and that your seat belt is correctly fastened. Also, your portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode until an announcement is made upon arrival. Okay, please don't hesitate to ask for assistance at any time during the flight. Right now, we kindly ask that you turn your attention to the safety video on the screen in front of you. Okay, then during the flight, you might say something like this over the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seatbelt, or sorry, the fastened seatbelt sign, and you may now move around the cabin. However, we always recommend to keep your seatbelt fastened while you're seated. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've begun our final descent into Delhi. Please ensure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position. Make sure your seat belt is securely fastened and all carry-on baggage is stowed underneath the seat uh, or sorry, underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bins. Thank you. Okay, the overhead bins is the overhead compartments, okay, both words for that space you put your luggage in. Uh, so your seat backs. When you're on a plane, you can recline your seat before landing and take off. You need to bring your seat to the full upright position. Also your tray tables. That that thing, your little table, is called the tray table. So you need to put your tray table up and pull the little clip down to make sure it stays in place. Okay, so then after landing, uh, you might say this, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Delhi where the local time is 8.34 p.m. The temperature outside is 28 degrees and cloudy. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. On behalf of Air Canada and our entire crew, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip and we look forward to seeing you on board again, again in the near future. Have a nice stay in Delhi or wherever your travels may take you. Okay, that's a very friendly, polite way to do customer service over the intercom. Okay, but I want to know, if you want to be a flight attendant, what kind of plane would you like to work on? What kind of plane would, would be your favorite to work on? Personally, I would like to work on an A380, an Airbus A380. They're really big planes, right? The double-decker planes. I took a, I took a, an A380 flight uh, one time from Bangkok to Tokyo. It was pretty cool. I mean, it, it was a really, really big, huge plane. I was sitting over the wing and I looked out and the wing, I mean, the wing was just huge. Never seen a wing so big in my life. It was a good, it was a good flight. It was Thai Airways. Thai Airways is, is a nice airline.
Okay, so let me know which, which kind of plane and airline you would like to work for down there in the comments. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.